So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that because of the length of the question. And all that strategy really tells you is that you want to translate as you read. So you're actively reading and definitely translating any or writing down any of the quantitative information provided um, instead of just reading all the way through the question and hoping you caught all the details. So this question says a survey was taken of the values of the value of homes in a county. And it was found that the mean home value was one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. So I'm going to write that down. Mean equals one hundred and sixty five K and the median home value was one hundred and twenty five thousand. So median equals one hundred and twenty five K. Which of the following situations could explain the difference between the mean and the median home values in the county? Well, first of all, what is the difference between the meanings of these two values? So the mean is the same as the average, which just means if I have right, a set of values, that the average value should be the middle. That's where my average or mean is and therefore that's where 165,000 would be. Now the median equaling 125,000 um, is a, has a similar meaning to the mean or the average, but not exactly, right? So the median means if I line up one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say seven, seven values, then the median is going to be the value of the middle number. Right, so that middle number is one hundred and twenty-five thousand. So one hundred and sixty-five thousand is obviously a larger number than one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Although one hundred and twenty-five thousand represents the middle value of our list of home values. Now, how could that happen? Well, let's check out the answer choices instead of trying to come up with our own reason. So, choice A says the homes have values that are close to each other. Well, the only value for sure that we know is 125,000. Again, the average, it does not mean that there's actually a house that has that value. It just means that $165,000 is the average value of the homes, whereas the median represents this is, a, this is an actual house. Okay, So if A were correct, that means all the home values would be close to 125,000. And therefore, if that were the case, we would not be able to get 165 as an average. So I'm going to cross A out. Choice B says there are a few homes that are valued much less than the rest. Well, again, if I know that 125 is here, again, I don't know um, a few homes that are valued much less. Like if these homes here, and again, I chose seven, it's obviously more or it could be more than seven homes in this town or in this county. Right? These, these two here could represent 2,000 homes, let's say. So let's say all these homes are much less, let's say 60,000 or something like that. Well, that would mean that our we would expect our average to be even lower than 125, not higher than 125. So B is out for that reason. Choice C, there are a few homes that are valued much more than the rest. So the same idea here, let's say those two or 2,000 or 20,000, whatever we want these dots to represent. Let's say these are 200,000. So in that case, if there are quite a few homes, if, if 125 is the middle valued home, so there's obviously homes that are less valued, but then we have a few homes that are much higher, and I said 200, maybe it's 300, who knows exactly what it is, would that be a reason why the average would be higher than the median? I'm sorry, the av yeah, the, the average value, the 165, would be a higher value than the median value of 125? Yes, actually it is. So I like choice C so far. And then choice D says many of the homes have values between 125 and 165. Now, if the majority or many of the homes are between 125 and 165, then that makes it very difficult for 165 to be the average, right? Because if most of our homes are in here and only have a couple of homes out there in the margins, it would make it, it would make it very uh, difficult for 165 to be the average. We would expect our average to be somewhere between those two values. So D is crossed out, making choice C the best answer in this case.